So right here I have the song. Let's listen to the raw file. Don't matter the cost, don't pay on for everybody. The life of everybody is the life of empty hearts. Boy, fix up, go be a man, go get the moolah. She's the only one who keep you on on red. So the first thing you want to do is make sure you have the correct tempo set. If you don't know how to find the tempo, double click on the beat. Right click, detect tempo, and then you know, choose any of its options. Most times 75 to 150 works and it will give you the tempo. So the next thing you need to do is find the key of your song. And you can use a free website called tunebar.com forward slash analyzer and it will tell you the key of your track. And in my case, the key right here is B major. You can see that B major. I'm going to come to auto tune. So this is already linked. Come to auto tune. This would be probably the only plugin I will use that is not Fab Filter, since Fab Filter does not have a tuning program. So I'm going to come right here, low mill, then change this to major, then B. Then this is just simply how much tuning you want on the vocals. Typically, I take this to about five or seven, sometimes even as even all the way up. But let's bring it down to five. Then for flex tune, I like to have it, you know, anywhere between halfway, you know, and even higher depends. This helps preserve a natural tone in the vocal. And I also like to take the humanize up to preserve expression. So let's hear it sounds. So next thing I want to do is compress the vocal so that it sounds consistent. I'm going to come right here and I'm going to use Fat Filter Pro C2. So the first thing I want to set is the threshold. The one thing I like with this Fat Filter compressor is that it's very visual. So it tells you what you need to do. For example, when I press play. You can see there's already some compression applied to it. When I adjust this, it's is going to tell you how much is allowing through and when I bring it down it's going to tell you how much is compressing as well the next one to set is the ratio this is how much compression I actually wants already on 4 ratio 1 typically I have my ratio on between 3 to 5 ratio 1 depends on how much compression I want in the vocal if you want a more relaxed compression where it's not so tight you can use 3 ratio 1 4 ratio 1 is just fine most times typically for vocals fast attack I use fast attack and I take it to about 7 to 8 milliseconds. And then the release, this is just fine. 200 to 500 mil, uh, milliseconds of release is just good. And I don't like using auto gain most times. I like to adjust the gain manually. Boy, fix up, go be a man, go get the moolah. She's the only one who keep you on hundred. Remove unnecessary frequencies in the vocals. And we say it's five filter Pro Q3. And there are three main areas you want to work on when it comes to aching your vocals. You want to work on the low end mod, that is the low frequencies. You want to work on the nasal mid range or boxiness. And then you want to work on the high end harshness or dullness, if any. I'm going to come right here and just create my points by double clicking, double clicking. You don't have to worry about, you know, the points. Just randomly click them for now. All right. I did want to click in, you know, as much as uh, possible. So I'm going to come right here. This is my low end. Change this to a high power or a low cut is basically the same they want to change this to about 72 db or 96 or you can have a brick wall but i would i don't want that i want to be a bit, a bit more musical not too precise not too precise so i'm going to have that and i'm going to swing it between typically you want to cut between 80 to 150 hertz depending on the mic tone and the tone of the artist vocal so i'm going to move this up until i hear a change in the artist vocals okay as soon as i hear a change i'm going to back up a little bit so i'm going to take this up the next one to do is remove some mid-range so i'm going to bring this points back in here so we're going to take this up scroll it down so that we can pinch it up and we're going to listen out for resonance in the vocal so we have that right there and i want to bring it down about between minus one to minus three db okay you don't have to do too much same thing here we'll repeat this process for all the frequencies in the mid-range
Then for the high end harshness or dullness, this is where you want to target the high frequency right here. If your vocal doesn't sound bright enough, you can simply boost a little bit again between plus one to plus three dB. Or if it sounds too dark, you or if it sounds too bright, you can cut out again between minus one to minus three dB. So I can just simply take this off. I turn off the EQ, this is how it sounds. And when I turn on the EQ, Next thing I'm going to do is take away S's in the vocal. I can hear some S's popping through, so I'm going to use Pro DS. And the reason I like this plugin is that it's very easy to use. Most of the plugins in File Filter are very visual, so I'm going to adjust this. This is how much, if I relax it, you can hear that you hear more S's or sharpness. When I Close it in, it will sound darker or duller. So you have to find that sweet spot between not too dark and not too harsh. So I'm going to relax it a bit. So before going any further, I want to let you know that you can sign up for 100% online mixing and mastering certification course. All you have to do is visit our website, sctutorials.com, or click the link in the description, and you can get started today. So let's get back to the lesson. Next thing I'm going to do is remove the breath in the vocal. I can hear some breath. For that, I'll be using a third-party plugin, and that will be Isotope Breath Control. These are not two channels, are the only third-party plugins that um, I'll be using. So all I have to do is come here. Add some saturation to the vocal bar filter Saturn and I want to use a clean tape. We can also use tubes. Sometimes I use clean tube or clean tape, but let's use clean tape. So I can boost this high frequency a little bit so I hear a little bit more shine. Boy fix up, go be a man, go get the moolah She's the only one who keep you on hundred Use a second compressor, still the same Pro C2 But this time it's going to be a different approach The first one was just to control the peaks and the lows This time is to really smash the vocal a little bit To get that tightness out of the vocal So this is a serial compression So I'm going to exaggerate it a little bit than, more than I need to So one thing I like with this compressor is that you can also change the style. For example, I want to use up to compression style. I can hear my saturation turning up some more, so I'm going to open it up to relax it a little bit. So I'm going to come right here and I'm going to come to drive, relax this. I'm going to come right here and use a final EQ to just like really shape up the vocal, then sweep across. So how do I get a good balance between the beats and the vocal? What I do most times is I bring the volume of the vocals down, then I bring it up gradually. Don't bury on for everybody. 
And then what, I'm, what I can do is spread out the vocals a little bit. But for this, I'll be using a stock plugin. I'm going to come to Fruity Stereo Enhancer. So we have this. And they want to bring this up a little bit. Don't, I don't think you should go too far. Just somewhere around here should be fine. And then we listen. Go be a man, go get the moolah. She's the only one who keep you on hundred. Go to a house, she pick me something. If I do wrong, she tell me something. She make her own money, she don't want nothing but love. Go to a house, she pick me something. If I do wrong, she tell me something. She make her own money, she don't want nothing. All right, it's sounding pretty good. So next, I'm going to do is create some sense for reverb and delay. So I'm going to create a send right here and just rename this reverb. And I'm going to use Pro R2. It's one of my favorite reverbs, by the way. So, you know, it just works. So you can use a reverb calculator to tune your, to get your reverb um, you know, set correctly. But for this, I'm going to go more of vibes, okay? So I'm going to change the mix to 100% wet. I want to make the room a bit bigger and then we'll have some bright reverb. Take out the pretty delay completely. So I'm going to adjust the send into the plugin from here. Then I'm going to use an EQ to take out some frequencies I don't want from the reverb. You can also do that in the plugin, by the way, but I like to make sure you know it's well done, so that's why I have it separated. I like to use a brick wall, so so i think it's a bit too bright because i can hear the s's you know popping so i'm going to relax the brightness in the reverb then I'm going to create for a delay. So I'm going to rename this delay. And I'm going to use um, Timeless by Fab Filter. All right, we have that. And we're going to listen. So you just click this musical icon right here. And then you can choose the notes you want on. Let's say we have, want it on quarter notes. Most times I do quarter notes delay. Then I'm going to adjust the send here. Then for me to sidechain it, all I have to do is come right here, use Fruity Limiter. Then I'm going to come to Comp, right click this, yep, reduce this, and increase the ratio. Don't want to add a little bit more reverb so you know it sounds more wet. I think it's not as wet as I'd like. And that's pretty much it. Let me play from the top and we hear how it sounds.
eleven, eleven. Eleven, eleven, oh, oh, oh. eleven, eleven. Eleven, eleven, oh, oh, oh. eleven, eleven. Eleven, eleven, oh. oh, oh. And that's pretty much it. If you found this helpful, like and subscribe for more tutorials, tips, and tricks. Cheers.